Uh, Shalom. O uh, praise unto Yahweh Hashem El Shai Hashem Rukakadash. The bonus unto the apostles of Great Millstone and ownership of us to be pushing this truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. So this is going to be a quick video. I was going to do these as two separate videos, but I'll combine them into one video. I'll find a healthy. Um, I'll find a healthy uh, way to bring them both together into one video. Um, but pretty much. Um, my brother had sent this article in the um in the chat and I wanted to go through this article and do some um some um you know just do a video on it. Um pretty sure the brother's done done a, a video on it. You know, he's usually quite good with the videos. But I'll I'll do another video if it is another video, if not, then not. Um so this is called um the title of this article is uh, US dollar hegemony will end in the next decade, our bankers tell uh, RT. And um, I, the reason I said I could find a, a healthy medium is uh, what you need to understand about uh, uh, the banking system and the money system is that for the most part, you know, war runs uh, commerce out here. That's how money's made. When when war, when people, when these Western countries go out there to war, or when there's a particular war playing out, they are what uh, they are individuals out there that are known as war profiteers. So when this thing out there is um, happening, you know, with, between Iran and, uh, and, and America, someone benefits from that, okay? And also, two days, uh, um, the, the fallout as a result of that, you know, the, the shifts in prices of commodity goods is going to um, see it to where, you know, somebody's going to benefit, somebody's going to make money, someone's going to lose money. That's how this thing works. Um, but pretty much... Um, you know, the, the, the United States, the dollar, is losing its grip um, from that it has on these different countries out here. And um, and they're predicting it within a decade. They're going to lose they're gonna lose that uh, 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 power that they have. So I'm going to read this and I'll go into the other article. It says, central banks have destroyed value in property markets, the bonds, the stocks, uh, British American investors, Mitch, uh, theorist Stein uh, says, the author of Planet Ponzi's and blog at uh, planetponzi's.com talks to Max Kaiser about the euphoria in the markets. And euphoria is the belief in um, something, the belief that something is going to be worth more when you're finished with it um, than when you started off with it. So, you know, the property property market you know, what drives the properties up is the euphoria. People buy houses when they're like 100 grand, believing they're going to sell it for like 120 grand and so on and so forth. So it just drives up the price. But when you have a market crash, that belief effectively is diminished. Now, you can have a, 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 a lack of euphoria due to um, high rates of uh, interest when you're borrowing money. And that will drive um, the price of everything, um, everything down because if it's difficult to borrow money, right? Or if you gotta, if you gotta, if you gotta borrow a lot of, uh, 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 you gotta borrow, uh, you gotta pay back a lot of money uh, 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 to borrow some, to, to borrow some money to buy a house. What happens is that people uh, start second guessing those particular purchases that they was gonna make cars and houses. And what happens is that because there's less demand. You know, obviously, the price for those houses goes down, and that all starts with the belief, and that's an important statement to understand because when we're talking about the chip, when we're talking about World War Three, and we're talking about these trade wars leading to hot wars and all of this, one of the fundamental proponents within this whole scheme is the belief of the people believing something is going to be more worth more when you're finished with it than when you started off with it. The euphoria of this thing, and when the euphoria dies out due to interest rates increasing due to a lack of jobs of which a lot of these people are losing their jobs especially with this brexit thing and many other different factors that you have within the world that are making it to where job job the job market is slowing down also too you got it to where china slowing down as a market or you got all the businesses that can be made okay for instance if you have a, a, a um a, a manufacturer like gm general motors what's happening with a manufacturer like general motors is that they're seeing the American market is not as prof profitable as the Chinese market, so they're shutting up the um the you know the factories that they have out there within the United States, and they're migrating out there into China where they can make more money. 
and they could, you know, not only can they make more money from from a bigger market to sell in, a rather more a, a, a growing market to sell in, all right, they have what's known as a cheap labor, okay? So, you know, people are losing jobs out here, and, and when you lose jobs and you ain't got no money, then the value of everything around you is going to go down, isn't it? Okay, that's the euphoria side of things, and that's going to have a major impact on this uh, economy. Now, what's important to note is that these elite banking families... They've got a plan that they have in motions to crash this economy. And that's going to be justification to either to go to war. But most certainly, it's going to be justification after that market crashes. You're going to have a situation, whether it's the market crash, or whether it's a false flag, or whatever is going to be the initiator, the end-all, be-all, uh, uh, when we're talking about the currencies, and we're talking about all of these different uh, 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 means of purchasing goods, of which the predominant means of purchasing goods is cash, which cash is going digital now, all right? The, 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 uh, the alternative that they want to implement is the RFID chip spoken about within the book of Mark, the thir uh, uh, Revelations, the 13th chapter and the 16th verse. That's why you're seeing all of these, you know, what's known as market volatility, because in market volatility, where they can uh, uh, easily say this is going to be the solution for the market volatilities that you have out here. They can easily say, look, you know, we, you don't have to have the chip. Sorry, Robert Moore, you don't have to have a volatile currency. We can have you. We can we can, we can have uh, 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 have you uh, chipped, man. Okay, so we don't know what it's going to be the initiating uh, 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 um, um, event, but we know that that is um, going to be a part of um, going to be a part of uh, um, the you know the world that's going to be brought into the world. They're going to have that chip, man. Okay, they're going to have these people chipped out here, and that's when it's gonna it's going to be known who are the men of the Lord. All right, you know you got a lot of people out there calling themselves Israelites, but We'll see who's calling themselves an Israelite when they ain't no food, uh, access to food, other than by means of that chip, All right? So continuing, he says the commodity space is not up to uh, is not up nearly as much in a bubble as everything else, says uh, Ferestein. According to bankers who worked on Wall Street in 1980s, commodities are a real value while you can actually change them for something else that somebody needs. So oranges, gold, silver. Uh, etc 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 bricks more all of that kind of stuff those are commodities Frankenstein says that in the next decade paper money fiat currency is going to lose its luster so we're drifting along to um <clears throat> we're drifting along to um to, to what's known as digital currencies but these fiat currencies you know they, they the way they was incepted it was through debt and it's going to end in debt and they, they, you know, there's gonna be a, a, a move away from fiat currencies, man. Okay, it might, like I said, it might be a market crash that they're gonna use as a reasons to move into that digital currency, unified currency, global currency, where everybody's chipped. It says the U U.S. dollar hegemony, hegemony, rather more, will end in the next decade. And uh, like, I, like again, like I was saying, you have to be aware that, all right, you have to understand that the elite banking families, all right, pretty much. Still want a, a global uh, currency, okay? You got it to where the U.S. is the tender of, um, the you know, the, the so-called world reserve currency, all right? And, 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 you know, as it goes down, they want to introduce something that's going to replace it. They don't want the, the, the East or um, a country outside of the so-called New World Order countries, of which all of these countries are in cahoots with each other underneath the table. But just uh, for argument's sake, they're not going to have it to where they, you know, the next reserve currency is a non-Edomite power, right? Is a non uh, uh, a banking elite power, okay? Uh, they, they got, they, they're not going to have that. The next thing that's going to happen is that you're going to have everybody chipped, man. Okay, that's the next. That's the next event on the uh, on the table, man. Okay, that's the next thing that's that's on the table. So that's that particular article. Um, this is um this is a different article. I, I thought this was going to be interesting, and I'll hit a little, couple of, couple of more scriptures in a second. Now this is this says Lockheed Martin Boeing among the twenty companies profiting from what? All right, so we know that the the, the whole economic system is run by uh, Esau, okay, the Red Hebrew Edomite, and they're the ones that are pretty much um having it to where everybody's in debt unto them, and and so on and so forth. But I, what I thought might be uh, interesting is also to shed light on, um, you know, the, the, these are the companies that profit in from, from war, okay? Not linked, but it is linked in a way, 
uh, because the money made by these Western countries that do have like the, the, like the US dollar and so on and so forth, it is it does it does come off the back of uh, um, the wars and the war profit profit pre uh, profiteering that they have. Okay, but what I thought to uh, to do was to see how many of these country how many of these different countries, okay, of these top twenty countries that profit from war are. Um, non-Edomite countries, of which you could do a whole entire video on this, you know, by yourself. You know, I'm going to quote some scriptures as I go, if they come to mind. But pretty much, you could do a whole video on this as well, because it's like a topic within itself. But, you know, I had two articles, and I wanted to do a video. I'll just combine them into, you know, into the same video, and Lord's Will is, is unto edification. It's not, you know, it's not the most coherent thing, but hopefully it's of edification. So it says, uh, Lockheed Martin, uh, Boeing, among the 20 companies profiting the most from war. So what this article is going to do is going to show you the company and it's going to show you how much they earn and it's going to show you where wh what country it's in. So, uh, so like I, remember, like I says, it's it, companies profiting from war, yeah? Now check this out. Company number one, um, right, 20, Rolls-Royce. What country is Rolls-Royce in? Um... So they're making 1.52 billion. And is it telling me the country? Country. Okay, so it says here, uh, Rolls-Royce Holdings is a separate company from the Rolls-Royce Motors, the luxury automobile manufacturer that was sold to Germany. While Rolls-Royce Holdings, all right, and uh, the military products and services 2018 arms accounted for Relatively small share. Now, does it tell me what country that is in? Well, anyways, we know Rolls Royce is a British company. I was pretty sure that this was going to be um, this was going to tell me what countries that it was going to be on, but we can extrapolate. Okay, we can extrapolate. So this is uh, Booz Allen and Hamilton. Okay, don't sound like no, <laughs> that. Don't sound like no Chinese company, yeah. <laughs> that don't sound like no Chinese company. Uh, the world's 28th largest arms and military uh, provider, um, US-based company. Uh, United Shipping, United Shipbuilding Corp, uh, uh, Russia, okay, another Edomite country. Harris Corp, uh, what country is this in? Now, they got a contract with the United States is saying there, but what country are they based in? Okay, so like so it's a defense defense contractor, right? And it contracts out there to the to the United States. So it's an American company. Okay. Uh Lady Ladios, okay. Uh, Virginia based. Uh um continuing. United Aircraft Corp. That's Russian. Right? And all, all Edomite companies. Honeywell International. Right? I even know Honeywell because Honeywell makes boilers out here within, you know, you can get a Honeywell boiler. But lo and behold, they make what? They make weapons. Okay? Um, Honeywell is, uh, that's an American company. I know that off the top of my head, that particular one. Um, what does it say? Does it say? Right. Um, does it say directly? But I'm putting. I'm, I'm, I know off the top of my head that's an American company, uh, Huntington Ingalls Industry, Virginia. Okay. Uh, next one, L three Technologies. I mean, the place is pretty much made yet. Yeah. <laughs> all American companies, man. For the most part, all Edomite companies. Sorry, Edomite companies, man. Okay, so who are the ones that are waging war against the whole world out here, man? ESO, okay. ESO, United Technologies Corp. Okay, that's that's sounds like another American company. Um, let's continue on down. Thales, uh, Paris based, another Edomite country. Almaz Anti, um, Russian, okay. Uh, Leonardo, that's gonna be like Italian or something tell by the name so it's 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 in italian 
Airbus, that's uh, British, isn't it? Okay, that's British. Uh, BA, BA, uh, BAE Systems, that's British. Um, where else? Again, all Edomite countries. General Dynamics, um, that's US, US based. Northrop Grampen Corp. Where is that? That's California, US based. Let's go on. Let's continue. Okay, Lockheed Martin again. That's the, I think I read that earlier. That's from that's the United States. So, you know, it goes to show you that these prophecies, you know, they're they're on point. Okay, you know, unto unto this man was given a great sword, and with it he was going to remove peace from the earth. So let's hit um, let's hit two scriptures. Let's hit um, the first one for the markets because these markets are going down. And then the, the second one for these, um, the, the article I just read a second ago. Um, so if I put Kank, it should give me the right the one. Okay, so yeah, that's it. James uh, 5 and 3 says, your gold is cankered, your, your silver, your, sorry, rather more, it says, your gold and your silver is cankered, and the rust of them shall be a witness against you, and shall eat your flesh uh, as it were fire. You have heaped treasures for the last days. So that's all of these different individuals, these different bankers that you have. Um that um that are make uh, uh, all their money from the markets and pretty much they're gonna stop making that money from their markets because what dollar's gonna crash okay uh, um, all of these countries are gonna be you know null and void and what's gonna be on the table is the RFID chip mark of the beast uh with reference to the second article I read uh Revelation six and four it says and they went out another horse that is red that was red and power was given to him that was sat thereon to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another. And it shall be, and it was given unto him a great sword. So the modern day sword is the ICBM nuclear missiles and all of these different weapons that they have to um and, and they use these things to kill to kill people, man. Okay, that's what happens, isn't it? You you don't buy a gun to <laughs> feed children. <laughs> these are killing instruments, and that's what they do with them. Okay. So hopefully that was of edification. You know, with that, I'm going to say, oh, praise unto Yahweh, Shimei, Asai, Ba, Shimei, Ka, Kadash, Da, Wa, Anasantri, Apostles, Great Millstone, and honestly, brothers that be pushing this truth in sincerity, Shalom.